Hello everyone, today I'm reviewing my new, well, not that new, I've had it for a while, uh, but I'm re new, reviewing my new power bank. Um, I'm going to compare it with my phone so you actually get to see the size, because I don't think, this is the main reason why I wanted to do the video, so that's an iPhone 10, and that's the power bank, now width wise, they're not that far, I know I've got my, um, my case on. But they're not that different here's an iphone 6 so you have another idea so for having 26,800 mega amps battery um it's really compact i really like the design it's um soft and it's fingerprint proof which is ideal it doesn't look scruffy like the there's some that are a bit shiny and as soon as you touch um all the fingerprint marks are left behind this one's not the case i really appreciate that now it comes let's move the phones out of the way with a carry bag um like such and it has drawstring and you've got enough space to put the cables comes very neatly packed you also have instructions manuals but you won't really need to you know check much off it and if you turn it around it's it, they're all numbered so you've got the micro usb input uh the lightning input uh the type c so these are the three inputs to actually um charge the device okay you've got the three different ones and then you've got the outputs type c can also be an output so it's really good it's written at the back so you can never, let me clean that, um, you can never, you know, get it wrong, mind you. Um, it's easy to find which one's the quick charge. You will see it has orange inside. That's quick charge 3.0. You can actually um, charge the power bank with quick charge 3.0. You need to bear in mind, if you do, you're going to need the quick charge power adapter and the quick charge 3.0 cable um, it's quick charge 2.0 and quick charge 1.0 compatible um, obviously as we all know uh, but you will also need the quick charge cable so neither of these also we've got no apple um, compatible cable but i think for the price that i've paid and um, having the type c which is type c on both ends and then um, the two micro USB to USB, it's good enough. I mean, it's it's really really economic. It, it's a good price, so it's a, it's very economic. Now, um, it does have safeguard um, technology, so it will protect your devices from excessive current flow, overheating, and overcharging. But when you're charging a device, let's say earphones, and they charge at ten watts. Don't think that because the power bank has all this technology in place that you should just plug it in wherever you fancy kind of thing. So um, when we put a device on charge, some people think, oh, no, the device just takes as much as it needs. No, it doesn't. It's the power bank, the one that sends the current. And if you plug something, that, let's say um, a 10 watts, which are normal earphones, on a quick charge what you will get is that you're giving it probably if it's 10 watts you've given it what 18 um watts in return you probably so you're giving it almost double of what it needs and it is it will damage the battery and it won't be the power bank's fault um although it has this technology to protect overcharging it means when your item's fully charged it will stop sending current um, that will automatically stop overheating um, and excessive current flow means that the current that goes from the power bank to the devices is just a steady it doesn't have high peaks because it's a good quality uh, battery inside but do check what power it's all noted i could bore you right ha right here right now with five volts two amps which equals 10 watts and 5 volts, 1.5 amps, which equals 7.5 watts. I could bore you all day with numbers, but it's all written on the... Um,
you don't even realise how. Okay, so you've got three inputs, four outputs, quick charge 3.0, very sleek, quite compact for the battery. So you get an idea. I've been doing, I've searched, right, iPhone 5S has 1560 mega amp battery. Um, an iPhone 6S Plus has 2750 mega amp battery. Um, iPhone 8 Plus, 2,691 megaamp battery. So my iPhone 10 has 2,716 megaamps. And probably one of the latest iPhones that has the most battery, it's the iPhone XS Max with a 3,174 megaamps. But now you think you have a 26,000, sorry, 800 megaamp battery. I could almost charge my iPhone 10 10 times. Nine, you can charge four devices simultaneously. It's great. And although you can quick charge with a quick charge power adapter, if you don't have one and you don't, they're quite, they are quite um, expensive, then simply plug it in, leave it overnight, and leave it to charge. Now, it also has here, I don't know if the camera is going to catch because every time. On the camera to see there we go it has the on and off button right here and it has four little lights so that's the power level right now it's fully charged and it goes down in increments so if you've got three it's less than 75 if you've got two less than 50 or 50 and one 25 or less than 25 so you have an idea I would use the whole battery the best these last for ages they charge many 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 charges you know you it, it's gonna last you years not not days not months uh, but the best way to do it is unless you've got a very important trip let it drain completely when you've got no battery left then you put it on charge and you fully charge it and so on thereafter and that way the battery replenishes itself completely and stops doing the, the what they do when they recharge slightly i mean if it's an emergency you know we all done it but it charges up to here and then it charges up to here and then it charges up to here and it is never fully charged so with time it does lose uh battery life there again not the fault of the power bank it's our fault <laughs> but if you leave it to drain as you know as much as you can then leave it overnight to fully charge you'll see that it's going to, it's already 26,000, but it's going to last you much longer. So it's all ready for my next trip. Now I'm not going to have to worry again. Um, also, it has auto off. So if I turn it on, but I don't have anything plugged in, hold on, I'm terrible at turning things on, um, it will automatically turn itself off because I'm not using it. So quite an intelligent um, little thing, really. Um, ideal to put cables inside I always try and put them on the bottom side I haven't scratched mine but just in case I ever do so at least it's on the base and on my behalf it's a definite thumbs up I'm not going to have to worry again if I run out of battery if the kids are going to call me the house is going to burn down and I'm dry of juice so would you really need one also with airlines this is something i wanted to share um normally we can never check in in cabin in sorry with it you know checking luggage you can't take power banks so don't put it in your 20 kg 22 kg you need to put it in your hand luggage usually less than 100 watt is okay which is twenty thousand. now this power bank is nearly twenty seven thousand. So you're going to need to ask the attendant um, for permission, really, for approval. Uh, but usually they say that from 100 watts to 160 watts, you're allowed. You just need to let them know you have it in your hand luggage. And 100 watts, as I said, it's 20,000. So you would be allowed this one just right on the border. But you still need to ask them, let them know that you have it. Well, that's fantastic. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Do please check if you own uh, one of the latest Samsungs or the latest Huawei's because there are a few models that don't go with it. 
Um, I'm an iPhone 10, so I need. has the same charging protocol and I would really recommend it compact sleek and does what it's supposed to what well, what is there not to like <laughs> thanks for watching